Hello there, we are at IBC 2018 and we have PTC controllers at display. We are hooked up with five different cameras, so that's a super exciting feature of our controllers that you can have multiple brands in the same controller. And I want to show you how exactly we did this. So on the PTC Pro right here, we have our PTC Optics, Lumens, JVC, Panasonic camera and an ADA camera over here. They are almost all of them uh, controlled over IP except the ADA camera which is the original serial VSCA protocol and on the back side we have a small converter. This is how we handle the serial signals when we have a serial camera like this one. We have RS-232 coming out of this cable into the camera and in the other end we have Ethernet. So it's really still easy to connect and look at this. We have only a single cable going into our controllers because they are PoE powered. So super easy to connect, super simple infrastructure and beautiful. So we have uh, each camera hooked up uh, as camera one, two, three, four, five. And uh, if you look at this monitor, you'll also see that while we are selecting camera, we are at the same time operating this video hub. So if I choose the output of my monitor right here, you'll see that I have my preview screen changing to the camera I'm going to control as I select my camera. But if you wonder why it is such a big deal that we can control multiple different brands at the same time with our controllers, you need to understand our um, way of insisting on, on having a deep integration with the devices we are, are controlling with Skaho controllers. So if you look at the panel and if we go to the PTC Optics camera, you'll see that in the menu of um, the PTC Pro, we can access all the parameters of the PTC Optics camera like exposure mode and if I change it from auto you'll see we immediately gain access to iris to shutter speed and gain. If I go over to white balance and I change it to uh, for instance a manual mode you can see we have uh, R and B gain uh, available. I can go back to auto and so on. All these parameters are broken out into this easily accessible menu but if I go to the second camera the lumens camera I also have access to multiple uh, to specific parameters for the Lumens camera for instance. They have something called smooth auto mode for exposure. Again if I change of course you'll find iris mode for the Lumens camera, you'll find shutter speed and so forth. But the fact is that many of these cameras they have unique features and if you bought a Lumens camera you want access to the unique features so you're not gonna put up with a controller that is just generic and can like you know bump up iris one up one down and so on and that's the, what you get with any other controller than ours. So um, this is true for every one of these cameras that we have uh, control over the um, specific parameters supported in those cameras. We have the PTC Pro, we have the PTC Fly next door to the PTC Pro and if you wonder what is the difference, well in terms of what they can do, they can do the same. Why? Because they all run on the Unisketch software which gives you access to, to all these things. We don't put any limitations into the software so you can do the same. But obviously they have different form factors and that's the whole point. So if you go with a PTC Pro it's probably because you want direct access to your preset recall. So on this one you have preset selection on this little block of keys while on the PTC Fly we have integrated preset recall as something you're toggling when you're using this four-way button. So you can see as I press this one, I'm toggling from camera selection over to preset selection. And even if I press the side of my four-way button, you see how I can access different banks of presets. You see the numbers in the display. If I go back to the camera selector and I, um, I'm at the camera selector now and I press the sides of the key. You can see in the little graphic there, there are instructions that if you press the side of the key, something will happen. And in this case, I am browsing through different menu options. So you see forth and back, I'm, I'm going through different menu options on the encoder knobs right here. So that corresponded to the menu section I had over here where I have direct access to different categories while if I was in the preset mode and press the side of the four-way button I have access to presets. We have the PTC WIS at display as well which is I would argue the world's smallest PTC controller that actually gives you a joystick keypad or joystick pad for, for pen tilt and also zooming. Um, and uh, in this case, we, uh, with the PTC Fly, our vision is that it can be integrated with the switching system as well, since we put labels for auto and cut on the controller itself, so that you um, both make a camera selection and you also select an input for your preview 
uh, row on your video switcher. So that was the P2C section of the Skahoe booth. Um, we have a lot of people coming who are uh, even comparing the different cameras to each other and very excited about seeing how they can um, bring multiple brands together because the fact is that you may have uh, PTC cameras of one brand and another brand already and you want of course to bring them together on the same productions once in a while.